everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya if you're stopping by for the first time then welcome I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you're not stopping by for the first time then welcome back and thank you for your support so today's video will be two reveals I will attempt not to talk too much because you know I can talk but these two items that I'm going to show you are based on a particular trend that was doing the rounds and is still doing the rounds so you know at risk of looking like I've joined jumped on the bandwagon it's actually because um, it's taken me this long to come around to this particular trend and this trend that I'm talking about is the PVC trend so I have a bag here which is from an unknown brand well unknown to me and another one here from Biagi as you know which is huge on Instagram and many uh, youtubers have unboxed a Biagi bag so I will explain each of these to you I'll um, explain how I came to purchase these and why and that's it so stick around Okay, the first one I have here to share with you is a bag that I purchased from TK Maxx here in Australia, in, in Melbourne, the one that's closest to me. The brand on this is Like Dreams, they're like that. And as you can see, it is a dark cognac color or a brown. It's um, a plastic, so it's like PVC trend. It's quite thin, so it's not as thick as thumb. <laughs> but it's just a thin one and it has the circular amber looking handles and they are attached to these little flaps just here these little flaps actually connect they are a press start on the inside and that's the bag this bag comes with a strap as you can see it's a golden tortoise shell and then it has the um, faux leather strip across the center um, I don't like this strap. I will actually be cutting this strap off, but and I will be adding another one, which I'll share with you now. Um, but I liked this one because when I saw it hanging like this on the hanger in TK Maxx, I actually thought, oh, that looks like those stored bags. And because it's got the insert as well, it looked even more like the stored bag. So I'll put some photos here to show you. Um, those ones are lovely. I, I actually quite like the stored and they're a beautiful, durable plastic too. But the problem with those is that they don't have a strap and I, I can't handle top handle bags without a strap. It just, they drive me nuts. Having said that, on the stored bags, the, the handle facility is more sturdy, but this is just a cheapie. And I thought, well, I'll start with a cheapie and see how I go, but I'll be making changes to it. So as I explained, it's got the two round handles. It opens up like this. It has... An insert like that and as you can see it's got a plaque which says like dreams um, this has a leather feel to it it's a dark brown it also has a press stud here on the inside and it looks like it has the raw leather finish on the inside too it's not leather bearing in mind I picked this up for $30 so it's not leather it's nothing too flash at all um, as you can see it's a very soft plastic um, I'm concerned about whether these will hold up, these little flaps here, but that shall remain to be seen. And the actual handles have this also faux leather attachment over them, probably to make the gripping easier and so on. Uh, I don't like the look of them because they actually stick out a lot here on the ends. So I'm actually going to cut those off and I'll just use the, you know, the actual round amber looking um, handles and they're nice because if you can see there's like a pattern inside that's supposed to look like actual amber so that's the first bag in terms of the PVC trend I like the fact that it has an insert because you can hide a few things if you wanted to um, but you have the option of taking it out of course and I like that this is a dark plastic because while I love the look of the clear ones such as the stored ones um, I just think you're actually showing too much and in all honesty there are times when my bag gets really messy and I don't need to have all the messy papers and receipts showing from the outside of my bag into my bag. So that's it. Now if these fail as in these don't hold up these little flaps well then I suppose I could always cut them off or they will fall off I imagine um, or another thing I could do is tuck them in and then just carry the bag with the strap. Now. I shared with you in a previous video this strap that I purchased from Oriton here in Australia. The colouring is ideal. The gold is a little bit darker than the actual gold tone on this bag. But I thought that this would actually look better. So I had purchased the bag before I bought the strap. 
but when I saw this strap and I bought it from the website, I thought this is going to match perfectly. So that's the first one. The next reveal I have is from Biagi, and this is one that many people have, so it's not going to be all that different. And yes, unfortunately, I do look like I just, you know, joined the same club as everyone else. So this is the bag that it comes in, and Shireen was very kind to me. She actually offered me a discount, so I purchased the bag. Um, and this is the bag that it comes in, and this is that type of, um, you know, it's a rough fabric. It's got a canvas feel to it, but it isn't canvas. And it's quite a large dust bag, given, given the size of the actual bag. It's bigger than what is required. When it comes to you, it's all wrapped up in that white foamy, um, wrapping, you know, like that foamy layer, and then it had bubble wrap around it, and then it had a black um, plastic around it. It didn't come in a box, but it came like that. It was well wrapped, and it comes looking like this, and they provided a little twilly, and these are the colors on the twilly. I shall open that. And the bag that I went for, this dark color, it's the Mini Kelly, and this is the 20 centimeter. When I opened it, I thought, Oh, holy crap, it's so small. <laughs> so, opening it up, and it's still quite stiff, but I tell you what, this, compared to the other plastic, leaps and bounds ahead. So, it came with this very thick wadding, this foamy wadding inside. It came with a, also a strap in a slightly lighter color than this. Now, um, this is described as a blue. So, when it arrived, I noticed on the packaging label that it said, um, Biagi bag or PVC bag in blue and I thought oh no not blue I don't want blue I wanted the actual dark dark color um, and now in the sunlight I can see how it's blue I don't know if you can see where it's the blue tinge it has the blue tinge to it but I actually quite like it so this one is very much modeled on the Cali and it's spacious I mean compared to my head that's, that's the size of my head <laughs> that big head <laughs> but um, it's interesting so you can pull these straps here on the side pull them back more to give yourself more room of course it's quite stiff at this stage because it's still brand new hasn't been used it will like um, uh, loosen up and it's in great condition and just to sort of compare the thickness of the plastic if you can see definite definite difference so that's very thin and wonky and this is quite thick as you can see here and sturdy in terms of the twilly this is the coloring of the twilly that was provided and it comes with the little points at the end and I imagine that I'll put that on the handle itself and failing that I'll just at least tie it around the handle but even that to me is cute enough and the the saying is souvenir de l'exposition 1998, un voyage au pays des merveilles, which means, I can't remember, I'll write it under here, <laughs> but it's about traveling and wonderful things that are discovered. So that's it, that's this bag. Mm. The actual strap is also in that nice thick plastic, it's quite durable. It has a hook that looks like that, so it's interesting, it's pretty much the lobster clasp. And, ugh. It opens like that, see? And that's it attached, and I'll have some mod shots here to show you. So let me know what you think of this. Sometimes, when I first opened it, I thought, oh no, I should have gone for the 25, um, yes, the 25, not the 20, but I don't know, I quite like the look of it being so cute and small. And then I even thought to myself, you know what else I could use this for? You might laugh. You know what else I could use this for? Um, toiletry case inside a larger bag or inside like a suitcase when traveling or something but it's so cute i like it uh, to pvc or not to pvc well i'm not sure yet but i know that this is going to end up lasting more than this one i can't see this one handling wear and tear very well um but it's you know at least it offers a different look so we'll see to pvc or not to pvc for fun yes uh for longevity Probably not. <laughs> this one here, if you were to get a different style, a larger style and so on, definitely you get much more durability and use out of it. So there you go. That's my little reveal. Let me know what you thought of these. Take care, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you next time.
Tchau.